Hey guys, it's Dan, your host of Dan's Reviews, and today I'm back for another video for The Walking Dead Dead City. And in today's video, we're going to be doing another discussion video. We're going to talk about Negan and the whole brand new persona that he's putting off in Season 2 with the leather jacket and Lucille and all this other stuff. And do we think we will see Negan have another lineup? All right, guys, this one's going to be doing that view today. This one's going to be doing that view for The Walking Dead, Dead City. And in today's video, we're going to be doing another discussion video after the season two uh, footage that we did get recently and some of the discussion topics that I've heard you guys kind of discussing um, over the last week or so for Dead City. So um, this one I've heard a lot of word about. I've heard a lot of people kind of talking about this one, and I kind of, you know, after hearing it, I kind of wanted to share my two cents on it and kind of share my opinions on it because this is a pretty interesting one. Um, do we think at some point in Dead City Season 2, seeing that Negan is back in like that Negan persona, you know what I'm saying, like the leather jacket, um, we don't know if he's going to call the bat Lucille, but we know he has, you know, a bat of some sorts with barbed wire and stuff like that. Um, do we think at any point we could see a lineup, you know what I'm saying? Now, let me explain what I mean by that, getting to see another lineup, because a lot of people probably hear, like, oh, another lineup, they're like, oh, I'm the frag out of here, you know? <laughs> it's like, oh my god, what? Negan lineup? Like, no, I don't think so, you know? Uh, that would ruin his redemption arc, you know? And here's what I'd say about it. Um, yeah, it, it definitely would if he was doing it legitimately. Thing is, Negan is forced into this position. You gotta remember that, by the Dama. And he's going to be doing this whole thing, this whole class act and stuff like that, to take down gang leaders in New York that think they're better than everybody, you know what I'm saying? And especially against Brutal's, uh, Brugel's boys and, you know, probably a whole bunch of other gang leaders that we're going to come across this season. Um, could we see a scenario where Negan lines them up, bashes one of their heads in, and makes them fall in line? I could see it, to be honest, because the Dama, you sure as hell know, has heard about what Negan does to break a group down via Croat, you know what I'm saying? So I would not be surprised if she said, like, this is what you're going to do, you know what I'm saying? And that's why he has the bat, is because he's going to do that, you know? Um, and I could see this being a really interesting storyline, because you'll have Negan at this point that's either going to go one of two ways. He's either going to really like it, and it's going to kind of consume him for a little while until Maggie comes to rescue him, and then he kind of snaps out of it. Or you're going to have Negan that absolutely hates this, hates this with his very core, and is like having trouble sleeping at night, doing this crap, he doesn't like it, he's against it every time, he's horrified with himself, and he's not really proud of himself, and he kind of loses himself in that kind of sense. Either way, I feel like that's something we'll get with Negan, one of those two things. But if we get a lineup, and I personally would actually really enjoy this, is if this season, the opening scene of 201, starts with Negan lining up a group of people and bashing one of their heads in. And that's how you start Dead City Season 2, is you show that, and you're like, what the hell is going on? Like, what just happened? You know what I'm saying? And maybe even some people may look at that scene, they're going to be like, oh, no, that's 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 clearly a flashback or something. You know, that's clearly a flashback. And then you find out as the, as the episode progresses, oh my god, that really happened, and that really just happened in current day, what the hell, you know, that would be such a cool way to open up the season, because it would be jarring, it would be out of nowhere, nobody would expect it, and I think it would be a really, really intimidating way to start things off, I think it'd be really good, um, because part of me kind of feels like with season one of Dead City, and I'm sure you guys could agree, season one of Dead City felt a lot more Maggie-led, you know what I'm saying? This season, I feel like it's going to feel a lot more Negan-led. I'm getting that vibe. I really am getting that uh, kind of uh, vibe with that whole thing. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm right, but I, I really feel like this season is going to be a lot more Negan-focused than Maggie-focused, rather than season one was kind of more of a Maggie season, you know, with her plotting against Negan and stuff like that. This season, I feel like it's going to be more of a Negan season, if I had to assume. So, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Do you guys see another lineup kind of taking place? Do you think that Negan would be for this type of thing? I don't think he would, but if he was forced into doing something like this for the, the Barazi and to break people down, I think it'd be a pretty savage way to start off the season, not gonna lie. Um, and I feel like it would kind of add to just everything else, you know, everything else going on. I feel like it would really, really add uh, some, you know, really interesting kind of conflict, you know, with the viewers, because it'd be like, oh man, you know, Negan's going back to his old roots, and then some people are like, oh, no, he's not, and then people are like, oh, no, I think he is, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like it'd be really good. I just hope they execute it right, obviously, but I feel like you could do something really, really good with that. So, let me know your thoughts. 
post comments down below. And of course, guys, if you're new to the channel and you enjoy videos like this, make sure to click the subscribe button. You don't miss any of the videos of The Walking Dead. Make sure to follow me at Dan's The Walking Dead Reviews on Instagram, guys. And of course, I'll see you guys really soon for more videos of The Walking Dead universe. Enjoy the rest of the day, guys, and peace out.